One of the things that's really important to make sure that you both keep an agreement is that you haven't agreed to anything that you didn't intend to follow through with. So in making an agreement it's important that you can honour your agreement, that you can commit to the agreement that in fact you haven't agreed to something that you never intended to do. Agreements are something that people should come up with themselves. Um, if we come up with it and it's something that works for the two of us, then we, it's in our best interest to make sure that it goes ahead. It's in our best interest to make sure that it works. How do we make sure that we both stick to it? That's something we can think about when we're actually writing the agreement or when we're coming up with the resolution. So put a time frame in there. We'd like it done by, by X, you know, by a week or two weeks time. And if we're both happy with that, great. And if it doesn't happen within that time period, what are we going to do? How are we going to deal with that? Am I going to approach you or you're going to let me know, look, there's been an issue with the bank if you're borrowing some money to get it done, or there's been an issue with the contractor, he can't come down because he's booked in too many jobs. So just letting people know, sometimes it's not about, I don't want to go ahead with the agreement or um, I've changed my mind. Sometimes there are external things that impact on our ability to go forward with the agreement. So just being aware that, you know, it's quite often not a deliberate choice to do the wrong thing. Quite often it can be other things impacting on, on people's ability to go forward. Keeping in touch with our neighbour on a regular basis. So if we've given ourselves a fortnight to get a contract out to uh, cut the, uh, the branches down, talk to your neighbour after a week uh, and, and find out is the contractor still able to turn up on that particular weekend? Uh, or uh, ask your neighbour if it's okay for you to contact the, uh, uh, the contractor to see if he's still on board to, uh, to come along. So the elements of communication are very, very important. Once you've reached an agreement and, and resolved the issue, for that agreement to stick, you're really going to need to wrap some things around it. So it will be around, you know, who, when, why, how, what's going to happen if it doesn't work. Um, so, you know, who's going to organise the contractor, who's going to be home on that particular day, um, what's the time frame, um, if it, you know, lags on beyond that time frame, what's going to happen. So it's all of those um, details that need to be agreed on as part of the agreement. Um, if the agreement doesn't work, if something goes wrong or someone pulls out, what happens next? Um, the agreement that you reach is only going to be as good as people sticking to it and following all of the things that you've agreed to. There may be a whole range of reasons why your neighbour hasn't stuck to the agreement because Things happen in people's lives. For example, they may have agreed to pay a certain amount of money, but they could have lost their job or, I don't know, a whole range of things could have happened. So I suppose the first thing to do would be to, to find out, you know, what's gone on for them. Was the agreement okay with them? Maybe they felt pushed into the agreement for some reason. So just touch base with them and say, hey, do we want to rewrite this agreement? Has the situation changed since we sat down and wrote the agreement? <laughs>